What's going on guys? I got some gameplay here from the Ghost Recon Future Soldier beta and I believe this beta came out earlier this week. I downloaded it with my PlayStation Plus membership and I just got around to playing it today for the first time and I am a big third person shooter fan although I don't play very many shooters anymore. I'm mainly a sports director but I wanted to play this game because I'd watched a video or two of it on YouTube and it looked like a pretty cool game and as I said before I'm a big fan of third person shooters. I, I highly prefer them to first person shooters. My favorite shooter game Games have been like Gears of War, Ratchet and Clank, SOCOM, and I've just I've played Call of Duty, Battlefield, a lot of first-person shooters, and just never really got into them. I'm a big third-person shooter guy, and so I wanted to try this out. It's a third-person tactical game, and getting into here, I didn't know any of the controls. I was just trying to figure stuff out as I went, and I wasn't really sure of all the futuristic technology in this game. I was hoping there'd be a tutorial or somewhere I could check controls. So this entire first game I played, I did not know how to sprint, change my secondary, or use any equipment. I knew how to shoot. Shoot, reload, go into cover, crouch, and go prone. That's about it. But we're playing Conflict, and I'm not exactly sure what the point of this game mode is. But I just got into here. I believe it was the only mode I could actually play. And I just wanted to try out different classes. I was using the ACR at first, and I liked the feel of the guns. And then I switched to the Scout class and started to snipe a little bit. And everything felt pretty smooth and pretty easy just to jump into and get used to the controls. I was kind of wondering at first how it would be my first time through because I wasn't sure how to use equipment and I didn't have anybody to talk to. So, I know teamwork is a big part of these third person tactical games and I know that from playing SOCOM so I was trying to just get used to the controls on here and figure things out but mainly it was just me running around with my gun kind of playing as a lone wolf I wasn't really sure exactly what to do but I actually did fairly good in my first game I'm sniping right now from up top trying to control that center part of the map. And this game also has a very good cover system. I like it a lot. When you go into cover, I didn't realize that at first. I kind of figured it out in my second game. But when you go into cover, you can see a blue circle. And that shows you where you can advance and cover and sprint to quickly. And it helps for setting up a uh, certain path you want to take if you want to go and try to flank an enemy because otherwise I was like how do you figure out where exactly you go into cover because I didn't notice the blue circle at first but after figuring it out I really like this cover system and it probably would have helped me a lot if I could have figured out how to sprint. I'm running around right now just crouch moving really slowly I see everybody else moving pretty quickly and I envied them at the time because I wanted to move faster but I was getting a decent amount of kills and here I can just go in here and their guys sniping and so uh, this map was pretty easy to figure out. In my first game I went 12 and 9 kill death, but we did not do very well. They doubled our score and we go back into another conflict game here at the same map. This is my second game. I figured out how to sprint and I'm showing it here. And I was just making this quick video. I'm not sure if I'm going to end up buying this game because I really don't play a lot of shooters anymore. But for my first two games playing, I really like this game. And that's not enough to really give it a real assessment because I like a lot of games after playing them for a half hour and then don't after another hour of playing. But this is a third person shooter like I've said and I really enjoy third person tactical shooters like this and SOCOM. The older SOCOMs, not SOCOM 4, but I've already got Starhawk pre-ordered and... I've played that beta, that's also a third person shooter, it's a PlayStation exclusive, I had a really good time playing it, and it was a very unique game, and I'm looking forward to that coming out early in May, and I forget the exact date this game comes out, but I think it comes out pretty close in proximity to Starhawk, so I'm probably not going to get it, although I just want to make this video to show you guys this new shooter that's really fun, I think, and I think it offers a pretty good multiplayer experience, and I watched an interview with some of the developers and I know there's a game mode that's kinda like a search and destroy it's just a sudden death one life only and that's kinda what I like from SOCOM and I would have really enjoyed to play a sudden death type of one life mode search and destroy I guess you could call it if you're familiar with Call of Duty but I like this game but I don't think I'm gonna be picking it up because I'm gonna be getting Starhawk and then I'm waiting on the Ratchet and Clank collection that comes out September which will hopefully be my shooter savior I guess. I've been playing a lot of shooters over the past few years. I played Ratchet and Clank a long time ago and that was my favorite online shooter. Still is my favorite game of all time to play online and just I played so many shooters in the meantime trying to fill that void something I can play for the long term and have interest in and there's just been nothing for me. I've, the games I've enjoyed the most probably were the first Gears of War, Killzone 2, and I played Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 for a long time. But as far as shooters go, I'm not really into first person shooters anymore. I'm kind of done with that whole genre. But this game right here, Ghost Recon Future Soldier, I really wasn't looking into it and then I just watched a video. And it actually looks pretty interesting. So if you're 
a third person shooter fan I would recommend trying out this beta if you have the chance and possibly picking it up because it offers a very good change of pace from what we're accustomed to with the shooter market nowadays usually first person shooters that are pretty much the same as everything else I'm not into it I'm a, th I'm a third person guy and games like this is the shooters that I want to play I will possibly bring some more gameplay from the beta I definitely want to hop into it some more now that I know some of the controls and possibly try to learn the actual objective in this game mode there's still a lot of things for me to learn and I one of the things that's actually really cool about this game is the gunsmith the gun customization in this game is probably the best I've seen in any game it is so in-depth and detailed I'm not quite sure if you can go into the gunsmith in the beta because I just hopped in here to play a couple of games but I'll try to figure some more stuff out and get some more gameplay if you guys want to see some more I'm not sure how long this beta lasts but I'll try to get into there very soon and play some more but I had a lot of fun playing these first couple of games you can see in that last section there I sped it up I was doing some sort of interaction so I must have been playing the objective but I go 20 and 14 in this game lead my team in experience points but let me know what you guys think of this video and I'll see you guys next time